If I look at this guy, once again, in terms of doing uh, surface area, I just have to find the area of each surface of each piece of this thing. So it's a matter of drawing each piece. And really, the, the thing that makes this one tricky is I'm missing a measurement. Like, I don't know what this measurement over here is at the moment, okay? And so I have to use the fact, let's assume that this is a right triangle here. So if I want to find this missing piece, I have to do my Pythagorean theorem to start. So I'm going to do 3 squared plus 4 squared equals, I'll call this side C, equals C squared. And so I'm going to solve this thing using my Pythagorean theorem. That's 9 plus 16 equals C squared. So it's 25 equals C squared. And then, of course, I take the square root and I get C equals 5. So in other words, this missing piece, I've got it kind of labeled twice here. Uh, this piece right here, that's going to be 5 centimeters. Okay? Or I could label it over here as 5 centimeters as well. Okay? And really, uh, on the outside there, it's a little bit easier to see if I kind of want to erase that one that's, that's in between here. Okay? But now from here, I need to find the, uh, the area of each piece. And so, I, once again, I'm just going to redraw each of these. So if I were to draw like this front side over here, this triangle, if I were to kind of draw that guy off to the side, it's 3 centimeters by 4 centimeters. And I have two of those, so instead of doing it twice, I'm just going to say, hey, I have two of those. If you want to draw it a second time, that's fine. But I'm just going to then find the area of that piece, okay? I have to draw maybe like the bottom of this thing. So if I think about the bottom of this figure, well, that's going to be a rectangle. And that rectangle has uh, dimensions of 4 centimeters by 6 centimeters. Okay? And I only have one of that rectangle. That's the only rectangle of that type that I have. If I were to draw the, the, the side that's kind of over here, uh, that's also a rectangle. Let me draw that rectangle. And that rectangle is 3 centimeters by 6 centimeters. And then the last piece I have is this, uh, this uh, rectangle that kind of makes the top of this thing that connects the hypotenuse of each of those triangles. And that's also a rectangle. And the dimensions of that rectangle are 5 centimeters by 6 centimeters. Okay, so I don't have as many repeated uh, pieces this time. Uh, a lot of these pieces are uh, different. Uh, I only have the triangle that's the, the same that I have two of. But I now I just find the area of each of these. So when I look at this guy... A triangle is one-half the base times the height. So one-half, okay, so one-half, so 0. 0.5 times 3 times 4. And that gives me 6 square centimeters. Now, keep in mind, I do have two of those, so I'll end up using 12 square centimeters total for those triangles. Uh, the next one, again, uh, it's a rectangle, uh, length times width, or base times height here. Uh, that's going to give me a 24 square centimeters. Uh, the next one, base times height, 3 times the 6 is an 18 square centimeters. And then the last one here, 5 times the 6, uh, the base times the height is 30 square centimeters. Okay. And once again, I'm just going to add all these things together. So I do the 18 plus the 30 plus the 24. And then the triangle, remember there's two of those, so I have to add that 6 twice, and I get a total of 84 uh, square centimeters for the surface area of this thing. Okay, so let me clear some space over here. So the surface area this time is 84 square centimeters. Okay, I find the area of each of those pieces, of each of those faces, of each of the shapes that make up this thing, and then I add them all together.